Here at the Remington Carriage Museum in Carston, Alberta, Canada, we have on display what is considered to be one of the ancestors to the semi-trailer, and that is the bull wagon. In today's society, our way of life would not be possible without the use of semi-trailers. The trucking industry is what allows our shelves to be stocked in grocery stores, the restaurants to get their food, and our mail to cross the country. During the carriage era, however, things were a little more slow going. These vehicles often traveled by hitching three together and would be pulled by a team of close to 20 animals in front. Due to the number of animals, handling the bull wagon with driving lines would be impossible. Instead, there would be two or three men that would walk alongside the animals and guide them along with their whips, earning them the title of bullwhackers. If you are familiar with borax, on the box there is a famous slogan that says the Mule 20 team. And in the picture, you will see a hitch of bull wagons being pulled by the 20 mules. Bull wagons were used by mining companies, including the William Tell Coleman's company, to move borax out of Death Valley to the nearest rail spur between 1883 and 1889. On average, bull wagons would travel just five kilometers an hour, and depending on the length of the journey, could take months to complete. It definitely gives you a new appreciation for the speed of modern day transportation. Mm -hmm.